spirit of the competition. Diop. Difficult customer to deal with. And there are the first points of the playoff. Ilamen Diop averaging 10.3 points per game going into this one. Scored 16 points against Croatia in the semi final. It wasn't enough for his side, but he's given Spain the lead here. The response almost immediate, could still be. Infringement has been spotted. I think it was Adria Cantinius there who was the player penalised. That was good defending. And that was a foul. The opportunity to open his account there is Spurn. He's the early danger man. Towards the lead. The bronze medal game in these under 16 championships. Continuing the series of finals across the age, age ranges this month and last. Alberto Mata. So much of the Spanish play coming through him at the moment. And it's not an unusual state of affairs, let me tell you. In a sense. De La Blanca, really good effort. Three pointer for Spain. That is their first, and that lead is stretched again by Javier De La Blanca. The point forward from Madrid. Immediate response again, and this is really good stuff there. Well, they're raining in from all angles. Nessie Moy, but he's done well. Couldn't quite apply the finish, though, and they could be caught here on the counter. Good defending. Really strong defending by the French. And they capitalise end-to-end -end stuff. And Big at Spain dominating the defensive rebounds. Been quicker, certainly defending their own basket. They've got to keep that in play, and even better to provide the finish. Carlos Garcia again. Just nine seconds. There is time for France to reduce the deficit here, and they do. It was well taken. Arthur Rosenfeld invited really to go all the way, didn't have too many options himself. So assumed responsibility. From De La Blanca. French in possession. This is Rosenfeld. Inglis has bulldozed his way through. And that's a couple of points for the French. Takes them into double figures. He did really well there. During his time on court. Leading a second foul there, so Spain still press and probe here, and that's beautifully taken. Ferran Ventura, it's unanswered, that the Czech Republic posted against him yesterday. They've done really well here. Very smartly finished by Etienne Zuma. It's his first points of the game, they really are sharing out the scores, the French, at full stretch there. Ventura taking over. That's well played. Set his sights. And David Iriate finds the target. Spain back in possession and pushing again with Diop. Then he was crowded out but did enough to find Jose Nugas. Well work. This is Diop. Good turn. Used the backboard brilliantly. Important couple of points. Just was missing them by much. That's beautifully taken. That stretches the lead. Really gets. Gonna find a way through again here. They go for the three-pointer and get it. That is beautifully taken by Ignacy Moi. 
And the three-pointers are starting to count now. They are racking them up, that three for Spain. From just five attempts, I make it. That's the big difference between the sides. France needed that to go in, but uh, Rigo's sights were just the right. Last couple of minutes of the first half here. 65% success rate with the field goals from anywhere on the court for Spain. That is uh, some record at this stage. And another couple of points added by Nugas. In fact, it was Garcia who applied the finishing touch that time. Only two short now of his tournament best. The ten points he scored against Russia. He has eight already here. There's over half the game to go. An important response by France. They needed that. Lucas Paletti. A playmaker, really, in this uh, Spanish side. That's a beautiful ball. And he should have put that away. It was almost too easy for Diop. He almost collided with the basket. Still, they can't add to their lead. And I mean, Diop in particular should have done that. I have to hope that that is uh, not too costly an error. Back doing his defensive duties instead. And a bit of pace injected to the attack by Marta. Rosenfeld, good support for him as well, and that's brilliantly taken by Paul Rico, and is much more like it. Spot the infringement with Marta, They've worked it well. Ventura, Diop, thought about having a go himself instead. They go for the effort right on the arc. It's a really good one for Spain. They needed that. Three-pointer. The last couple of minutes of the third quarter. That takes the lead back into double figures again. Very timely intervention because they had been on the back foot. They still are here. France battling for the rebound. They can't make it count, though. And the points now are going Spain's way. That was Marta. All of a sudden to Diop. They're giving it away again though. Here is Rico. Slam dunks it in. Is this the start of the comeback? Marta. Switch play well. Just haven't quite got their sights set though as successfully as earlier in the game and they may yet pay a price for that and they do that's getting closer Lapper for a while as Diop takes a break beautifully done they needed that Augusti Sands delivers when the pressure was on have just been going against them that might might be enough to reverse the tide. We shall see. Still a decent spell by the French. It's a good effort. It's a super effort. Straight down the middle. It's game on now. Enough. Percentage success rate. The field goal attempts is simply not high enough. But it may yet be that they survive despite that statistic. There's one of the... Now, though, just three points with a minute to go. Can they double it here? There's no way through for Augusti Sands, but the whistle has gone. Unfairly denied the shooting chance. Sean Bielk with the foul. Might well be that it's fouls that decide this. He'll get his chance now with Sands. They need this. He's missed it. That's the tension getting to the Spanish side. 
so comfortable for so long anything but now and it really matters Augusti Sams again with the second of the free throws and he's missed that by a margin and this time it's the French first to the rebound playoff stays on three points but there's four between them now they need two scores again that at this stage is important that was almost one of the scores back from Rosenfeld, but not quite. And they're running out of time. Here we go then. They have to make this count, this to level it up. Oh, it stayed out agonisingly. It thought about dropping. Rosenfeld, they've got the two-point layup to keep them in contention. Seconds to go, almost repeated the trick here. Look at that. What pressure here. Rosenfeld gets the first one. This to level it up. Perhaps to take us to overtime, remember. What pressure on the young star. He's got it. It's all square. The timeout is immediately called. Spain have to score here. Has gone in their favour. With three seconds to go. Ignashi Moi was the player. Attempting to find a way through. And four surrounding him. See here, this surely to win it. And he's missed that one. The drama continues. This is quite incredible. Ignashi Moi. Two free throws. The first has been spurned. The scores are still level. There surely will be no further time after this. The bronze medal could depend on the free throw. He's missed it. He's missed both of them. Would you believe it? 47 points apiece at the end. What? That's beautifully taken, continues setting his sights, he planted his feet there, and lands for all sorts of reasons. That drops. Rosenfeld, uh, time is of the essence here for France, he scored the two points. Such an important player, he really has come good when it matters. We're back within a score again. Just threatened to open up all of a sudden for Spain. Diop battling for it, gets the rebound but can't get the basket. Second chance missed as well. Just seem unable to get themselves over the finish line to stretch the lead. Keep edging in front, but at no points. The response had to be swift, and it was from Thomas Veer. Big score, and it's not going to be enough. Clint, that will come with experience. It will be a very harsh lesson learned. Free throw is successful. Less pressure on this one, and he does get two from two this time. Well, they've given it everything, but the comeback ultimately was in vain. It is Spain who prevail here in overtime. They had to do it the hard way, having been pegged back right at the death. They've dug deep to come again, and they get their hands on the bronze medal. For the fourth time in four attempts, France are beaten in this bronze medal game at under 16 level. It is the 13th medal 
in this particular age range for one of the dominant forces in European basketball. Spain will be on the podium later. A measure of revenge.